Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about the basics of SurveyMonkey. Everything you need to know about what it actually does, uh, how to sign up, how to actually create a survey using it, and what you can do or cannot do in the free plan, and everything you need to know, to know as a beginner. So, to start off, it's basically SurveyMonkey is a platform that offers you tools that you need to create uh, surveys and actually view them. Uh, it's very, very powerful and very well known, and you can just use it in order to basically uh, receive feedback, uh, maybe suggestions, opinions, or criticism, or maybe you just want to create surveys for you and your friends. Uh, whatever it may be, the reason behind you creating surveys is going to be uh, in here. Now, it does support iOS and Android and obviously Mac and Windows using the website SurveyMonkey, SurveyMonkey.com. Now, the basic plan is going to be for free. And I'm going to tell you right now, it basically has or includes pretty much everything you need not want need everything you need is going to be included within the free plan but then there are a lot of things that you could um, further use in the future by using or uh, subscribing to one of their plans so if we go to plans and pricing here you can see uh, the plans and what they include and we will talk about some of the basic things that uh, you will see that needs a plan in order to use. Uh, I'm sorry about the currency, uh, but I can't really change it right now. You can just go ahead and check uh, them out for yourself. But first, I'm just going to be talking about the basic plan and what you can do with it. Uh, and some of the key things that you can't do, I will also point out and you will be able to see yourself as I'm showing you how to create uh, surveys. But to get started, you go surveymonkey.com and then you just get started and after that you just put in your credit credentials or information basically email username that kind of thing or just log in using google and then from there you just you end up finding this page which is going to be the home page in here uh to start or get started you have two options as you can see you can start from scratch or three options i should say start from scratch where which will require you to create everything from scratch uh meaning survey title uh, ca ca category for example quiz or something and these other things i would not recommend you to start from scratch unless you already know what you are doing and you really want to do uh, use uh, one of these options here but what i would recommend is after you, you if you go back, I'm going to show you, you can create using a template or you can just pick one from here. But what I personally like to do, a uh, quick start template, which will give you also other options. Uh, uh, if, if you go, no, this will give you just a basic template. We don't want that. We want to pick a template ourselves. Uh, in order to do so, we just click on create survey. And from here, you get these uh, options. Either start from scratch, which we talked about, by targeted uh, responses. I will talk about this later. It's going to be a paid service, which you can use. Uh, copy uh, a past survey. Import questions, which is going to make things easier for you. You can just type in the questions in text form, and it's going to basically uh add them all at once which will save you a lot of time so this is the example what is your favorite color and then the answers and so on but we also don't want to use this we would rather use something else so if we go home again uh create a survey and then we choose the actual one we want which is going to be a a pre-made template which we can then edit to get to that we can just start from template you also have the build it for me which will ask you a few questions uh, regarding what is the survey about and all of those things 
but I don't want to click on, click on that and just create another one and keep going back. So again, you just create a new survey and then you just select one of these options. I'm going to go for start pro, uh, from template uh, and then just pick one template. I'm going to use this one. I used it before and I really liked how it looks like. It's very simple and straightforward. So we can just select this one. And then after you select it, it will show you some of the basics, like how many questions are there? It's five questions and how many times people used this template It's this number over here. And obviously don't worry about the five. We can uh, always increase or decrease the number. So we just click on use this template after you obviously preview it and you choose to uh, use it. Now, after we uh, we uh, get uh, our templates or create from scratch, it doesn't really matter. We will end up in this page, same old page. First thing, uh, first thing to do if you want to add your team. If this is usually targeted for larger businesses, but if you have team members that you want to work with, uh, you would can or you can just click on add uh, collaborate collaborators but obviously this is going to be a paid service for the team plan or you can have three or more people working with you for the free plan you can only be uh it can only be you and only you uh so if you have a plan and you want to add people you simply just click on here and follow these steps but now we find things like the summary if we click on that, it will show you the summary of the survey uh, and uh, the the genius survey monkey genius is going to basically rate your uh, survey with a percentage like you see here. And also uh, the estimated time to complete, which is one minute for this survey, which is very, very useful because a lot of people uh, before they send out surveys, they tell you, how much time would it consume you this way you would uh let the person who was taking the survey know that it, they're not going to be stuck there forever it's just going to take them one minute so you can just copy that and then paste it for the collect collectors i'm going to talk to about that in a second so this is the uh, summary design survey it's obvious preview is going to be where you preview the uh, survey and you see it as the uh, people who are going to uh, do the survey is, is exactly how they see it and then collect responses here is going to be the important part where when you are done with the survey you can just uh, send it to uh, people now it will give you two options target your ideal resp uh, respondents here is going to be a paid service which is very very good actually if you want uh, to create a survey and know a lot about your business yes you will pay for it but at at, uh, at the end you will get the uh, feedback that you need from people who are going to be targeted and you would filter out the people that you want their opinion basically or you can just send surveys your way and you can pick one of those uh, uh, methods the most basic one is shared by a link so if you click on that it's just going to create a link for us and you can just copy it and paste it on your website or send it to people but now let's just go back to our design page in our design page uh, we have a few options we have the themes and settings settings is going to be uh, where you can add your logo uh, also, it's going to be a uh, you need a plan a plan for it, so you need to upgrade. It's not for free, and the footer, which is going to be the water water mark, you can uh, uh, if you upgrade, you can remove it. But with the free plan, you will always have this water mark and uh, fonts things like that. You can change in here. Uh, you will you can just find all these things in here layout also going to be paid so uh, if you want these extra things you should get a plan but as I said everything that you would need to create a survey is going to be for free anyways and then you can just access themes uh, I like this one do drop 
and it's just going to give you a little bit of a touch to your quiz. Now, that's for the style. Uh, we can exit out of that. And then we have logic, which is uh, something that we, you can just read through. I'm not going to go through all these details. You can do this uh, yourself. And then you've got options like if you want uh, to show, uh, for example, the exit link. If we do that, you should see on the right now, they can just click on that and exit progress bar, survey title, all of these things you can just use uh, or find in the options. Question bank is just going to show you suggested questions in that. And then the format, you have either classic uh, one question at a time, which is preferred or conversation. I prefer to use the second one because it just highlights the question that you are on and that's it. So let's go to, to actually start uh, customizing our survey. So in order to add questions, you just simply go to wherever this uh, is. If you don't have questions, it will, should be on the top. But if you have multiple questions, it should be at the bottom. You can just add a new question. And then you should find this option over here. From this option, you get to obviously enter a question. So if this is about animals, we can just do this, which animal is faster uh, and then you get to choose which type of question this is is it a multiple choice is it a checkbox uh, drop down and these things the things that are in yellow are paid items but in white are for free uh, as we can see it's up here it's multiple choice so we're just going to keep it multiple choice and then uh, the suggested questions is just going to be uh, suggest suggested by SurveyMonkey. But we enter the answers here. So let's just put in uh, rabbit. And then maybe uh, cheetah. If I can just spell right. Uh, elephant. And I will leave the last one blank. Obviously, if you want to add more, you just click on here and you can see it adds the next one automatically. Automatically, If you want to remove one, you just simply click on this, delete this choice. But here I'm going to leave it empty for a reason and I will show you why. So uh, let's say we put our questions here. If you want to add one, we just click on here, add another one. Now, before we continue down onwards, you can also add these questions in a different way, which is going to be much faster. So instead of we just write all of that, let's remove everything in here and we can just click on bulk answers. Once we do that, we can just type in uh, the answers in lines in different lines. So for example, rabbit, and then we click enter, uh, cheetah, enter, uh, blah, elephant, they say elephants are fast. And then we just leave it blank if we don't want anything. And we just click on save. And as you can see, you have the questions in here or the answers in here. Next, you need to check the ones that are correct. So it's a multiple choice. You can select multiple ones. But for me, it's just going to be the cheetah. And then you give the points, uh, which is going to be calculated at the end. Uh, so keep that at one. If it's if the other questions are more than one, which I will show you how to check in a second, then you just go ahead and set them uh, to the same point uh, level as the other questions. But usually just going to be one point to not make, make things complicated. You can use the reverse uh, answer order to just randomize the questions. And then uh, we have these two, which is which is why I left um the last one I, I just only made three because of these two you can add a other option which you can click here and you can have two options for that either uh, display an answer choice or comment field let's just put here display as answer choice and then we put the message that we want and then please enter a comment and then for the comment we just want to have a single line with 50 char characters to control the amount of uh, characters they use and we don't really need validation. So you can have this option for you. 
but we don't want that because here it was faster so it can be other really and you can also add a none of the above answer option which i will keep uh for this the, for the sake of the tutorial and you can just put the name in here now once you are done you just simply click on save and as you can see it's just like the previous questions now uh if we want to check the points as i told you before we can simply just edit previous ones and see what the point is it's one point so we make sure that our question is one point now if we want to edit one of these questions that they already have we simply just click on it and we just change things uh, in it uh okay so i think we are done in here uh so after we are done it's going to auto save by the way so we just go ahead and preview and score this is going to be where you basically make sure that uh you, you uh, end up uh basically just making sure that everything is correct and uh, so let's just go ahead and answer some questions in here uh i'm not reading through the questions so don't judge me in here uh green anaconda because it's one of the largest snakes and which animal is faster let's just say elephants i think they can beat cheetahs and we just click on done and that's how people are going to see it right and then when you are happy with uh your survey you do the final step which is going to be collect responses and make sure you copy the link uh, given to you here and you uh, send it to your uh put it on your account instagram whatever it may be and simply use that or you can just add new collector and use one of these methods to share your link and if you go back home on the home screen you should find your survey in here and you can just go to settings and send survey uh again this will show you the options in here so i hope this video made sense to you and is easy enough to understand and follow you don't really need much of a tutorial it's very simple survey monkey is very simple and straightforward it's not going to be very difficult to understand um, the only thing that you may want to look into is going to be the plans and pricing because as you saw there are a lot of things that you need to pay with for but like i said most of the things that you need to build a very excellent um, survey is going to be for free it's just more of a comfort thing or a customizable thing and actually very useful features in order to get you would need to subscribe to a plan uh, so that's it yeah thanks for watching